good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, truly with Spirit of Matter. And this episode is actually a sinistry episode, uh, or a transit episode, and I want to address Pluto square Saturn. So when you have a Pluto square Saturn, whether in your sinistry or composite um, or natally, uh, or in transit, I will be having that in a decade in transit, then um, if you practice any of the outer to inner planet only on person to person, okay, levels, vision, mentally, person to person, then this is where, this is where you see people really um, can, can experience damage because an outer planet is to be doing something outside of you and that other person or even you and you okay so i had this in a composite when i was doing my me too era and when i was in academia and very soon i understood that i did not have the astrological terms for it but i understood that what i desire here the change that I desire to see happening here, I should be doing uh, by and large. Okay, so I don't like, let's say, uh, the behavior or the road that this person is going. It's not about turning the energy to the person, but about um, turning the energy to the outside world. Okay, and I have put on the ninth house, so it could be educate, getting educated, educating people about gas lighting, about um, a s- a psychological uh, stuff, about even occult stuff. Uh, so uh, by the time that the Me Too came, it was obvious for me that it's not a man hunt, but rather a structural change. And indeed, we are still going through the structural changes ever since that time or that era. Um, right now with the Neptune, Venus, uh, and, and full presence of Saturn, Mars approaching, we see um, the music industry being exposed for the trafficking that happened there. Uh, to some degree, academia was exposed, but not to the wider circles. You haven't seen it yet, uh, because this is already way, way, way too close to those who fund those type of things and you know you only need to know who are the people who own the resources um, to understand how big that is and so the Pluto Saturn when you have a Pluto Saturn um, square whether in transit or natally you are a person that is co um, present in changing structures okay With the square, there is a crisis to do with this, and it can be very scary. For example, when I was in academia, academia was everything for me. It was my job, it was my housing, because I lived on a grant. Then, um, through volunteering, I got housing. It was um, what I, my life mission, it was everything, everything for me. Now, of course, this situation was too all in comparison. I was very afraid to go outside of this structure and then me to happen in academia, I was forced to take a break from the very place that was everything. Uh, so this was a crisis where I got used to certain structure and this structure had too much power in my life and now it was about to decentralize this structure in my life. Okay? So scared to change. So was the other person scared of other changes. For example, the mutual changes and the exposure of everything that was being practiced. Um, but the exposure of the structure itself, although this crisis is actually a uh, but you know, when it comes in a crisis, you lose the structure that you give too much power to your life. This is what it means. Okay? Through a crisis, you stop giving that much power to certain structures in your life. This is why it is so difficult. Saturn can also be religion, can also be spiritual beliefs. Um, it can be many things, okay? Father figures, uh, and 
and Pluto is really about transforming from the core. So Pluto Saturn is transforming structures from the core. For example, with the Saturn, the great conjunction of Saturn and Pluto, we had the lockdowns, we had COVID, we had tremendous structural changes um, happening in the world, and now just we have it just by the merit of, Sa of Saturn ruling Pluto in Pisces. It's about to conjunct actually Neptune. Um, but for those of you who deal with the Pluto, um, a Saturn square or opposition, uh, you are the people that are involved personally in structural changes. There are many structural changes right now, okay? There's the desire for a new world order, but how will this new world order look? Um, and with Pluto, it gives, Saturn in general can be fear and anxiety, but with Pluto, it gives a survivalistic um, undertone. So, on a like personal level, it can be um, very difficult because one person's structure is posing um, what the other person might perceive as survivalistic threat to their own structure. Both of the structures in these people's lives need to change, okay? But you are afraid of this change because it changes the core of the structure you've been. Saturn rules our bones, our hair, our skin, our nails, our teeth, okay? All of this, I'm still, I'm still learning from this experience that happened to me when I was in academia. Um, all these things that you hear me talking about, whether it's the A-bomb, whether it's the fluoride, um, and many, many things, okay, are still from that era. They included some other things like uh, Uranus, Pluto Square, and stuff like that, um, but... This is important for you to understand that all of the structures in your life are going through a transformation. It's not something that's bad for you, but it's very scary because this, this change is from the core, from the bones that hold your body, from um, the teeth, from like really everything. And when, and when you go to the regular ways of changing those things or to, to care for yourself, um, those ways are transforming. So you want to think about the medical system with Saturn in Pisces. Um, you want to think about uh, the, the structures around sovereignty and expressing and asserting your sovereignty when Saturn goes into Aries. Okay, the, st the structure of your identity. And so, um, structures around land when Saturn would be in Taurus. And the structure of cities. Uh, when Saturn will be in Gemini. So uh, I think it's 2030 is already with Saturn in Gemini. I'm not sure. Uh, and this is why maybe the plan is to have a new structure to the cities. Um, or kind of like the 15 minute cities and so on. And, and the, uh, what I want you to take out from this is that. Whatever you experience is not about you and that person, and you don't want to keep it in that frame. When there is an outer planet involved, it's not about going to a, a you know a, a couple psychology or something like that. It's about understanding what is this outer planet, what other kids Pluto, Uranus, Aries, Neptune, and what are you asked to do in the world? With Saturn, you're asked. You are co-present in changing structures in the world. Okay, with the square, this happens in a, a crisis way. Now, for every square in your life, you draw in the sextiles, the trines, drawing the people who Saturn sextile your Saturn, drawing the people who Saturn trines your, your Pluto. Okay. Um, and, and you see this is naturally happening. You want to tap into those energies. Even in a sinistral or composite, you may have Saturn, Pluto, Sextile, and Saturn, Pluto, Square, um, Trines, alongside with Saturn, Pluto, Opposition, Conjunction, or Square. Okay? So, 
you want to you want to capitalize on that and you want to understand that this change is happening it's changing structures this is happening and it's not about you or the other person it's about something that is uh, happening right now in society and humanity at large so um, this is a, this is by the way an, an evergreen uh, teaching about outer planets and inner planets uh, I know that right now we're gonna be having and we are having a lot of Saturn Pluto squares in synastries in natal charts the 1998 people have gone through their uh, have gone through and are going through the Saturn um, uh, return which activates the natal Saturn Pluto square in their charts okay those are people some of these people became like uh, Bitcoin uh, uh, legends or uh, stuff like that uh, and, and yeah some of them having their downfall but some of them are also uh, having to change the structures not only of their life but of society by and large but also if you don't have it in the natal chart you could be having it by transit uh, right now the people whose Saturn will square Pluto are the end of, of uh, oh sorry the beginning of Scorpio Saturns you'd still be a Pluto Libra the beginning of Scorpio Saturns okay and the beginning of uh, Taurus Saturns you guys are uh, undergoing structural changes tremendous structural changes to your lives that are part of the changing structures in the world okay uh, so those are the people who are going toward the transit and around the transit you will see you will draw into your life not only the, the people who pose this um, a square in the synastry but also the people who um, bring in the sextile and the trine. I want you to capitalize on the sextile at the trine because you will receive the energy of changing the way you change, literally changing the way you change uh, in a more accessible way. And so um, this can help to uh, refine the difficulties uh, that you are having with the uh, yes with the squares and to refine the energy that's up in the sky in any case what you're dealing with is not a person but a structure okay and the conversation that you are having is of um, what needs to completely degrade, completely fall apart, which structures must completely fall apart in the will, and what structures are we forming in a way that can better accommodate for um, life on earth, <laughs> for example. So, um, and uh, if you understand this, you also understand that you need to go beyond the person. So, for example, you, you met the person that you have this in this industry with. It's not about trying to change that other person. Okay, so some of you might be almost kind of like um, obsessed about trying to do that in the beginning. But when you get what is the mission, you understand that this is way beyond a person. This is a structure. And the more you learn about this structure, um, the more you're able to change the right things. And, um, and, and when the structure crumbles, you will not be trying to manhunt, so to say, okay? Uh, but rather, the, uh, go back to the Me Too era. Okay, it's not about the manhunt. It's not about, hey, this person losing their job. Like, no, an entire generation needs to rethink the structure of their working environment and the structures in their lives and the intimate life and how they correlate together, okay? And, and this is important because those, of, those who try to meet to a person, in many cases, either they were silenced or oppressed or they got that one, but it's kind of like there's, there's just an ocean of others um, whereas those who dealt with the structure is a, is a difficult road to walk, uh, but some of them are harvesting the fruits, weathering successful lawsuits, 
um, I'm not saying it's in any way easy. Get recovery is like we we, we we need to change the structure. It, this is the recovery, right? Um, but some of them are more centered. Some of them are um, already harvesting the fruits. Doesn't mean, and, and it doesn't look like the way that you would see it. You know, a decade ago. Oh, go into your job, have a relationship. No, it looks completely differently uh, because we are still in those changing times, okay. and we are still with. Uh, we are not done with Pluto Capricorn yet. If we will be done with Pluto Capricorn. We're not done with Pluto Capricorn yet. So, for those who had uh, this relate to Pluto Capricorn, um, you will see that at around by November 19, um, something big is going to culminate uh, in that regard. Okay? Uh, and then there is Pluto and Aquarius, which is a bunch of other stuff, uh, what consecutive other stuff uh, that you're dealing with. So um, please address the outer planets and understand what changes are happening in society. Understand that those changes are happening in society and understand that you want to apply to those energies from the sextile, from the trine, and um, do not be fooled to believe that uh, your relationship with that other person is about only you two, uh, but rather that this is a minuscule of a societal change. This is also important. This is what kept the Me Too people who spoke speaking. It was sometimes obsessive, compulsive need to speak out because there were silence for so long that they couldn't even speak. Then the threshold was crossed. So with Pluto Capricorn, I believe we're going to see a lot of that. Um, and people will no longer be able to uh, um, keep it to themselves. And they will no longer be able to write a diary, okay? If you say, oh, write Dear Diary. It's not Dear Diary. Structural change in society is not a Dear Diary. So the models of healing, of consultation, even astrological consultations, that involves time, of... Um, uh, psychological, psychiatric consultation, all of these things, all of these models are changing themselves. Okay, you see the structure of the DSM, of people look at the DSM and say, even I joked about it, they should teach it like they teach Mein Kampf, um, because it is so related, okay? And I speak as a person who was looking for the magic pill. Okay, maybe if I take this pill, then I'm okay with society. It didn't work, okay? But I was looking for this, okay? So, um, this is not uh, being, you know, hostile or having antagonism from, no, it's just being a grown and mature person. Um, and this is uh, what we must get. Um, and this is also what people must get, because if you attempted to silence another person, uh, to try to control, because with, with Pluto we tend to try to control something, and we're not sure about how to control, how to center in ourselves. With, with Saturn, you try to control because you are afraid and because you're anxious. You try to control somebody else's structure. Okay? Don't worry about this. They are changing. You are changing. Both of you are changing. You don't have to worry about Saturn. With Saturn Pluto, you don't have to worry about structures not changing. Because they will. Okay? Um, and it, you know, it's very new. It's just, oh, the more you embrace, it's really, come on. Are we gonna be having a knockdown to the welfare system? <laughs> okay, what the fuck are we talking about, right? Uh, so it's like, hey, you can embrace this change when you're sitting in a restaurant like I do, drinking some cool water and having good temperature. Of course you can embrace change, be excited about it. No, you're not gonna be excited about it, but it happens. Um, but it's also good to set the intention to um, to allow the structures to decompose so that we uh, find ourselves in, in rejuvenation. It is not easy, but it needs to happen. And it's also important if people are tempted to, you know, shadow ban people or... or uh, it's like all these things, they're not going to bring in the... It's just not going to bring in the safety that people try to 
get by trying to control another person's structure okay or certain structures that are crumbling is not going to help although the culture is something so compulsive uh, people might still try to do that uh, and so great compassion is, is needed um, towards everybody involved because this is a time where literally the old structures that we operated by for even hundreds of years are crumbling and you know it's very exciting when you see oh suddenly all all things are exposed whether it's an academia or music industry or even government yeah, it's less exciting when you don't know where you live where you can sleep and so on so um, this is uh, kind of like a, a part of um, of those things, of those times, we're not having this in the sky, okay? We're not having Saturn square Pluto in the sky now, okay? Uh, so it is not going to be um, this type of crisis yet. We will be having this when Saturn goes into Taurus again. So Saturn return into Taurus um, is going to yield the Saturn square with Pluto. Right now, we are actually approaching to the sextile. Okay, when, when, when Saturn will reach Aries, we will be having Saturn sextile in Pluto. And Saturn will be conjuncting Neptune, actually. Um, so we are actually moving towards easier times in regards to changing structures, so the things that need to crumble, crumble, we'll be more happy about this. But when Saturn returns uh, to Taurus, this is where we're gonna have a big full-blown Saturn square Pluto in a fixed axis, okay? So we're not talking about the Pluto Leos, the Pluto Virgos that had this, maybe the Pluto Leos, the Pluto Virgos that had this. They're a mutable sign. We're talking about a full-blown fixed axis square between two of the most dogmatic planets ever, okay? So brace ourselves for the uh, Pluto Saturn square in the sky. Right now we're heading for the sextile. So first of all, embrace that. Even if you're meeting a Saturn square with another person in the sky, Saturn is applying to sextile Pluto and conjoin Neptune, okay? So let's say you could, for example, have a hard relationship with a person what if I take the Me Too era, okay? I had a very frightening conflict. It was frightening for both people because the people, uh, are, um, you know, are doing uh, those tricky stuff to control another person. It's coming from the traumas. It's not coming from being centered and healthy. Uh, and so it was frightening for both people, okay? <laughs> and for everyone around. Uh, but at the time, um, the structure of... Uh, society was changing and suddenly there was kind of like the Me Too era. So both the other person was not alone within like feeling persecuted because um, they were not persecuted but they probably felt like this this what stemmed the, those actions. Uh, and the person that was uh, feeling uh, disempowered in the other place was me was no longer feeling alone with this. Uh, so this is the meaning of kind of having um, you know, and the sex down between Pluto and Saturn is going to be even better in this regard because we are scheduled to have incredibly crumbling structures in society and other structures, hidden structures, forming in their place, depending on how it meets your chart is how you're going to experience this. Um, but this is something that's already beginning to happen in the sky. Uh, especially as Saturn moves fast, 15 degrees Pisces, and you will see it. You will see that uh, while you and that other person might feel like, oh, we are falling apart, uh, actually, uh, when you go outside of your own connection, you find easier time. Okay? It does mean that we're going to see a lot of, you know, if you have a Saturn ruling your seventh house, uh, a lot of structures will be falling apart. Um, but when you go outside of those inner structures, actually you might find more um, help or more easy time 
uh, changing okay uh, so this is also what I want you to keep in mind um, outer planets to inner planets in general we talk about synastries we talk about relations between people um, this is where a generational issue meets a personal issue okay so you need to understand that you're not only dealing with the generational issue there's also your personal lives but you also are not dealing just with the personal issue it's not just between you and this other person uh, this is an overall theme in society during changing times i think that's it and i hope this sends you on your way uh, perhaps more validated perhaps uh, having a little bit more strategy on what to do um, uh, without rose-colored glasses around, but this thing is about. So, yeah.